we got the complete Victron system and we've been getting a low battery voltage alarm from our inverter. We looked at the data that the smart Victron system is giving us and it shows that the battery was reading a completely different voltage than the inverter was receiving. So I went onto the Victron community website. I made some posts. I asked people what was going on. So since it was dropping a volt from the battery to the inverter, people were recommending to check that line all the way through and see if there's any faults, maybe loose connections or corrosions. Let's see what we found in the back. So our entire system here, we got the batteries, we got the alternator charger, servo GX monitor, we got our bus system, solar charger, solar switch, master switch, master fuse, and here's our multi plus inverter. This is the one that was giving us the low voltage alarm, delivering it to the servo GX, and the servo GX was showing us the alarm on a screen that's inside the van. So this is our main bus here. We're probably gonna wanna take this off and just check all the connections. Make sure you turn your power off, guys, while you're doing this stuff. I'm gonna turn the alternator charger off in the front, too. So alternator charger right here going to the battery of our van. I'm gonna turn that off. What I'm gonna do now, just take this cover off for our bus. We're losing a voltage from here, out of the battery terminal, through the fuse, into the switch, into the bus, and out into our inverter. So somewhere along that line, there must be a fault. So we're gonna check all the fuses here to see if any of them are blown and then check the lines for any loose connections. Looks like they're all pretty tight here. The fuses, they look good. These lines are tight. So I look at the fuse over here. The fuse looks good, but look at this next to it. And you can see this thing is completely burnt up, guys. This four out lug connection has nice clean copper there. And then over here, it's completely burnt up. That's not correct. So this is all good. Now this whole power system's off, but I wanna disconnect the negative terminal of the car battery before I start messing around with any of this. Battery's off, guys. Okay, let's get to work in the back. I actually already ordered a prefabricated four aught wire. So I'm gonna use this to fix up the broken one we have there. All right, so before we touch anything here, I'm gonna disconnect the negative terminal of our battery. Okay. I'm gonna put this here. That's a safety slipper. I don't wanna lose any of this hardware. Just make sure you put everything back the way you found it. Turn this thing off. That's kinda of burnt to shit, guys. It burnt up the plastic. We gotta take this off, replace the whole wire, and replace this fuse too. Look at this thing, guys. You can see it started getting burnt up there. So that's what the new one looks like. This is the one that got burnt up a little. I created all the wires in here. So when I built this, I was thinking, this thing is way too friggin' flimsy. Look at how burnt up that thing got. This one's obviously a lot longer. So we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna make that work. New wire on. I'm gonna take this fuse holder and I'm gonna move it. Do the best you can with what you have. I'm thinking the best place to put this is probably like Somewhere down here. All right, there we go. I mean, that's supposed to be there for safety, guys. Last thing left to do is put this battery connection back. All right, please don't blow up in my face. Let's go inside and check if this is working. So we just hooked the battery back up. Alternator charger on. Now let's check. This is what was giving us the low battery voltage alarm coming from our inverter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on to test the inverter. Turning this water heater on is the thing that was giving us trouble before. All right, it's pulling 1400 watts immediately. Looks like we fixed it, guys. Now that we fixed the wire, the voltage is consistent across from the battery to the inverter. So there's no voltage drop, there's no alarm going off and our water's boiling up. We'll be able to get back to doing grandpa showers, sponge baths in the van, well out on the road, touring the national parks. So if you wanna check that out, come along. If you're also struggling with a low battery voltage alarm, I hope you found this video helpful. And also check out the Victron community. There's a lot of good people there willing to support you. So take advantage of the support network available to you. Seek out the resources you have. Best of luck troubleshooting your system. And I hope to see you out there on the road. How do you feel, you? Way much better. So good. No, no need to rush back to Sagmore.